Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 14-15 that is taken from chapter number 14, Energy Methods and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is determine the bending strain energy stored in the simply supported beam subjected to uniformly distributed load. EI is constant. So you can see this is a simply supported beam having pin support at this point and a roller support at this point. And there is a uniformly distributed load over a length of L by 2 from this pin support. So we have been asked to determine the bending strain energy stored in the beam. So let's start with the solution. So as we know that bending strain energy is equal to integral of uh, integral of m square dx over 2ei and that will be from 0 to length limit will be from 0 to L now what we will do is that you can see if this is a point A and this is point B and if you remove this pin support at point A so you will be having a reaction force which is equal to RA and if you remove this support at point B so you will be having a reaction force which will be equal to RB so first we will find this RA and RB by using equation of equilibrium and when this distributed load is converted into a point load it will act at the middle and this load will be equal to w into or length which or which it act and it is w l it will be l by 2 and it will be acting at half of l by 2 which is equal to l by 4 so this is l by 4 and this will be also l by 4 now you can apply equation of equilibrium so what will be the first equation of equilibrium? The first equation of equilibrium will be sum of all moments about point A is equal to zero, taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A, first moment will be this load, which is WL by 2, and that will act perpendicular distance is w, uh, L by 4, and this is producing clockwise moment, so it will be negative. So I will write minus W into l by 2 and perpendicular distance is l by 4 the second moment about point a is due to this rb load and the perpendicular distance is l and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus rb times l is equal to 0 so from here you will get this rb into l will be equal to w l square over 8 and this r b will be equal to w l by 8 so this is reaction force by the roller support on the beam now we'll find this r a by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about point b is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point b the first moment will be this w l by 2 and perpendicular distance will be this one so l by 2 plus l by 4 will give you 3 l by 4 and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive so i will write w into l by 2 and perpendicular distance is 3 by 4 times l the second moment is produced due to r a and perpendicular distance is l and this is producing clockwise movement so it will be negative so i will write minus r a into l is equal to zero so from here you will get r a into l will be equal to w l square 3 w l square over 8 so from here you will get r a will be equal to 3 times w l by 8 so this is the reaction offered by this pin support on this simply supported beam now what we will do is that we will find internal moment so for that i will cut the beam over any length of l by 2 and we will take this distance is x1 and we will draw the free body diagram so i will write internal moments internal moments for coordinate x1 
so i will draw the free body diagram so let this is the beam clear you have ra which is upward and this ra is 3 wl by 8 this distance is x1 clear and there is a uniformly distributed load acting over a length of x1 this is w and when you cut it you will be having a shear force v1 and you will be having a moment m1 let this is your point 1 now what we will do is that if you convert this w into point load so it will be w into the length over which it act which is x1 and that will be acting at a half of x1 so this will be x1 by 2 and this will be also x1 by 2 now we'll find this moment by using equation of equilibrium so what will be that equation that sum of all force uh, moments about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about this point the first moment will be this w into x1 and perpendicular distance is x1 by 2 and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write w into x1 and perpendicular distance is x1 by 2 the second moment is due to this load and perpendicular distance is x1 and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so i will write minus 3 w l by 8 into x1 and the last moment is you can see external moment m1 a reaction moment which is counter clockwise and that is positive and the sum of all moment is equal to 0 so from here this m1 will be equal to 3 w l over 8 x1 minus w x1 square over 2 clear so this is the internal moment for coordinate x1 now what we will do is that we will find internal moment for coordinate for coordinate x2 and what will be x2 so if you cut the beam over here any length of x by uh, l by 2 so let this will be x2 and if we draw the free body diagram it will be like this so you can see here this is point b where rb and rb is wl by 8 clear and this is the distance which was x2 coordinate clear so when you cut it you will be having a shear force v2 and you will be having a moment in clockwise m2 so we will find this m2 by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about let this is point o point o is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about this point o the first moment will be due to this load wl by 8 and perpendicular distance is x2 and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write wl by 8 into perpendicular distance is x2 plus there is external moment m2 which is clockwise is and the sum of these moments will be equal to 0 so m2 will be equal to wl x2 over 8 so this is the internal moment due to coordinate x2 now we have both this moments so we will use this formula in order to find the uh, bending strain energy stored in this beam okay so what we will do is that we know that uh, bending strain energy let me write it bending strain energy which is equal to ui is equal to integral of 0 to l m square dx divided by 2 ei if we take ei as common from because we have two coordinates so 2 ei will be outside and we will left with integral of m square dx1 over 2 ei and the limit will be from 0 to l by 2 for x1 plus integral of 0 to um, l by 2 and moment will be m2 square dx2 over okay so 2ei is already taken outside so no need to re re 
repeat it okay and this will be m1 now you can just put the value of m1 and m2 which we have m1 is this one and m2 is this one so you can just put it ui is equal to 1 over 2 times ei into integral of 0 to l by 2 and m1 is 3 omega wl over 8 x1 minus wx1 square over 2 whole square into dx1 plus integral of 0 to l by 2 and m2 is wl x2 over 8 whole square into dx2 now if you apply the formula a minus b whole square so it will be equal to 1 over 2 ei integral of 0 to l by 2 this will be equal to 9 w square l square x1 square over 64 clear plus w square x1 4 over 4 minus 2 times this multiply by this will give you minus 3 w square l over 8 x1 cube into dx1 plus this will give you integral of 0 to l by 2 w square l square x2 square over 64 dx2 clear now if you further expand it it will be equal to 1 over 2 times e1 and that will be integral of 0 to l by 2 9 w square okay so you can just skip this step you can directly take the integral of x1 square into dx1 so it will be equal to 9 w square l square over 64 multiply by x1 cube over 3 and limit will be from 0 to l by 2 similarly it will be equal to w square x1 power 5 divided by 4 multiply 5 will be 20 minus 3 and the limit will be 0 to l by 2 similarly minus 3 w square l over 8 into x1 power 4 over 4 and limit will be from 0 to l by 2 plus this will be equal to w square l square x2 cube over 63 64 multiplied by 3 and limit will be again 0 to l by 2 okay if you simplify all these and put the limits replace x1 with l by 2 here similarly here here and x2 with l by 2 you can do it it's very easy so you will get 1 over 2 ei into uh, okay so you will if you all simplify it so you will get the final value will be equal to 17 w square l5 over 15360 ei so this is the amount of strain energy that is stored due to bending or it is also known as bending strain energy and that was all about this problem 14-515 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also share my videos with your friends and help me in growing further thank you for watching